Hi, this is Steve Alder in the Avalon Ward. Today I'd like to take a couple minutes and demonstrate how to set up a new account on familysearch.org. This will be for either a member of the church or a non-member. To begin with, I'll go to my browser here and type familysearch.org, which will take me to the Family Search homepage. You'll notice up in the far right-hand corner, there's a box called Create Account which I will click on, bringing up an opportunity for me now to create an account, type my name, and make up a quick date of birth here. And now I have an option of clicking that I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I will click on that box, and then by continuing, I will be prompted now to enter what's called my church record number. That number can be found on your temple recommend as shown on that little picture underneath. But there's an easier way online. I've got another window here for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I've logged in already. And if you log in and go over here under your name and click, you'll see three columns, my account, my ward, and my tools. On the left-hand column under Account Settings, I click on that button, which will then bring up my personal information profile. On the far left under Personal Information where it says Membership, if I click there, you'll notice my record number, which I will copy. And then by going back up here to Family Search, I can simply just paste that in and continue. If I continue at this point, I'll get an error message because I already have an account. If you get that same error message, it's because you do already have an account and you just need to prompt to get your password. I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna pretend that I am not a member of the church and I wanna set up an account for a friend who is not a member. So I will unclick the button that says I'm a member of the church by doing so, this will create an account in which you cannot see the temple ordinances, but simply be involved in genealogy and temple history activities. I'm now going to continue. And now I'll be prompted to set this up by just creating a unique username, password, and then prompted about how I would like to receive information, in this case on my mobile phone. I'll mention that I'm from the United States. I would like to receive information and that I understand the terms of usage. By clicking account, that would then set up a new account for me as a non-member without needing a church record number. And that ends this demonstration on how to set up a new account. Thank you.